हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू स्पेक्ट्रम क्लासेस दिस इज आर अनदर लैब एक्टिविटी वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म एन एक्सपेरिमेंट व्हिच इज डिटरमिनेशन ऑफ सपोनिफिकेशन वैल्यू ऑफ एन ऑयल सो दिस इज द प्रैक्टिकल व्हिच इज गिवन इन द सिलेबस ऑफ बीटेक फर्स्ट ईयर सो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड हाउ टू परफॉर्म दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट इन द लेबोरेटरी एंड द कैलकुलेशंस and at the end of this experiment we are going to discuss the viva questions so keep watching till the end first we will start with the theory why we are doing this experiment and what is the significance of doing this experiment so here what is called saponification saponification is used to determine the total acid content both free and combined of the fatty acid a fat sample is having both free fatty acids as well as combined fatty acids so here saponification is the method to which we are going to determine the free as well as combined fatty acids present in the oil or fat sample so acid number on used to measure only the free fatty acids so that is the difference between saponification and acid number determination the combined acids are primarily esters formed by the reaction with the neutral components present in the original fat so these are the esters and we generally known them as triglycerides the saponification value is there for a measure of fatty acids quantity since we are going to measure free as well as combined fatty acids present in the oil or fat sample so we can also say that saponification is to measure the fatty acid quantity in the given oil sample it is determined by measuring the alkali required to saponify the combined acids and neutralize the free acid let me explain this with the help of the equations right what is called saponification so first we are saying this combined these are called triglycerides and these are also known as combined fatty acids in saponification what needs to be done the reaction of these triglycerides is done with the alcoholic NaOH or alcoholic KOH and then we get as salts of fatty acids so in this way we get soap formation of soap and glycerol this we have discussed with experiment in my previous video of soap formation through this we can determine how much alkali is required to break this triglyceride or the combined acids now requirements how we are going to perform this experiments what are the glassware and other apparatus used for this experiment and here are the chemicals which are required to perform this experiment and here i am showing you how to prepare the solutions so what solutions we require for this experiment we required alcoholic solution of koh alcoholic solution means rather dissolving this koh after weighing in water we are dissolving this in the alcohol that is ethanol 0.1 normal hcl solution and ethanolic solution of 1 g coconut oil i have used here whichever be the fat or oil you have you can take 1 g of that oil now saponification is to be done using refluxin so what is refluxin so first we will start with the preparation of solution and then we are going to discuss how the refluxin will be done here is the procedure how to perform this experiment after preparing the solution so i am not going to read this i am just showing you the experiment how we are performing this experiment right so this is for your writing purpose so let's start with the experiment first i am showing you how to prepare the solution so here is the potassium hydroxide here is its molecular weight and how it looks like so to prepare 0.1 normal koh by this formula we are going to calculate the weight which is required to dissolve so this is the equivalent weight or we can say molecular weight since it is having one replaceable oh so this is its molecular weight or we can say equivalent weight to prepare 0.1 normal 100 ml solution so 100 ml to convert it in milliliters we divide it by 1000 so we need to weigh 0.56 grams to prepare 0.1 normal koh solution now 
now I transfer it in the measuring glass and we prepare its solution in ethanol. The next is weighing of oxalic acid to standardize this molecular weight. So preparation of 0.1 normal oxalic acid to standardize this. This is its equivalent weight means molecular weight divided by 2 100 ml and this much 0 0.63 grams I need to weigh to prepare 100 ml 0.1 normal oxalic acid now we are going to transfer it in the measuring glass with the help of funnel again we wait my paper we prepare this solution by washing this conical plus thoroughly this is used as a primary standard oxalic acid i already told you in the previous experiment now preparing 0.1 normal hcl solution so here is the hydrochloric acid it is in liquid form it is 35 to 37 percent We transfer it in the reagent bottle just for my convenience. Liquid to liquid will be done by N1 V1 is equal to N2 V2 normality equation. So 0.1 normal I want to prepare 100 in 100 ml volume and for this HCl 36% the normality is 11.65 so with the help of this pipette I'm just going to transfer 0.8 ml of concentrated HCl this measuring glass and I make up it with the help of distilled water now I am going to weigh 1 gram of coconut It is 1.2021. We transfer it in the round bottom. Now I recheck the weight. So 1.01 gram weight I have taken. So to this I am adding 0.1 normal alcoholic KOH solution. 25 ml of 0.1 normal alcoholic KOH solution and with fat here you can see and in the second round bottom flask i have taken only 25 ml of alcoholic koh solution without fat and we reflux them here is the fat water connection or condensation inlet is the lower end of the condenser here is the inlet for the first condenser and its outlet and its outlet is used as inlet for the second one and its outlet and this is the outlet and this assembly is done heated on water bath so heating is going on you can see the condensation of vapors here here condensation of vapors so this is how the saponification reaction is going on in alcoholic solution of koh now we are going to titrate this with 0 0.1 normal hcl solution So after cooling the fat as well as blank solution I have taken 20 ml of this blank solution right so this is alcoholic QH solution which is reflux for 30 minutes and cool down now we are adding phenolphthalein since it is basic so phenolphthalein gives pink color now we started titrating so the initial reading is 0 So here 
Decolorization means completion of titration. So it is 25 ml here. So 20 ml of alcoholic KOH or blank solution is Here we are taking 20 ml of fat solution which is condensed and then cool down. So 20 ml of this fat solution, right? After condensation. Now we started titrating by adding one drop of phenolphthalein. So this is our test solution. Here, titration is complete. So, this is the final reading, initial reading, and again, this. now the observation table. Here is the serial numbers blank solution. Blank solution means 0.1 normal alcoholic KOH solution reflux for 30 minutes and then cool down. So, the initial reading of the burette what we have filled in the burette? So, we have filled 0.1 normal HCl solution in the burette. So initial reading is 0, final reading is 25. So for blank, 25 ml is consumed against 20 ml. So actually, the, here is a 1 is to 1 reaction between HCl and KOH, but you see 20 ml. This is for MSc students actually. So this is 20 ml and this is 25 ml. So what does it signify? It signifies that our HCl is less than 0.1 normal. Okay. So that is why we need to standardize our solutions. So this is only for the higher class students, not for the BTEC or BSc students, right? And in this manner, we can take two, three readings just to get the concordant reading. Similarly, we have performed the excitation for fat solution. So what is for fat solution? We are having one gram of fat that is coconut oil here plus 25 ml of alcoholic KOH solution, then reflux for 30 minutes on water bath, and then cool down to room temperature. And after we have titrated it against 0.1 normal HCl, means this is filled in the burette. So the initial reading, which we, I have shown you here in the experiment is 25.1, and the final reading is 43.2. So we, after subtracting, we get 18.1 for the test solution t stands for test solution so what you have seen here for blank where fat is not there it is required more hcl but when fat is there it requires less means some of the koh is consumed by the fat solution okay so this is this is the evidence that koh reacts with the fat solution the calculations here the conification value, this is equal to B minus T. B stands for blank since it is more. So minus T, T is the test solution. So it is less. So B minus T into normality of KOH solution. And this is 56.1 is the molecular weight of KOH solution divided by weight of fat. That is 1 gram here in this experiment. And in this way, we get milligrams of KOH required to neutralize the free or combined fatty acids present in the fat solution per gram of the fat. So here I have done the calculation. So while subtracting B minus T, we get 6.9 into 0.1 is the normality of KOH solution and it is the molecular weight of KOH solution divided by 1 gram. This gives this much milligrams of KOH is consumed for against one gram of fat. So this is its saponification value. Now the viva questions for this experiment are what are fatty acids and in how many forms they exist. So fatty acid is represented by RCOOH where R is the bulky group, right? So here is the bulkier long chain R with COOH group, right? So this is called fatty acid. And it exists in both free as well as combined state. This is called free fatty acid. All are free fatty acids. 
and here is the triglyceroids what is triglyceroids so triglyceroid is represented by this formula and these are the combined fatty acids because these are esters how to memorize this so in this way we can memorize this i have discussed it earlier and what is called saponification saponification reaction is given here so here is the triglyceroid on reaction with an alcoholic solution of NaOH or KOH and it gives sodium salts of three acids and in this way we get glycerol right so this is the saponification reaction what are the soaps and detergents soap is the sodium or potassium salt of higher fatty acids so here are the fatty acids and their salts here and detergents are the sulfonic acids sulfonic acids of alkyl hydrogen so this is the formula for the um, detergents so i hope you find this video helpful and uh, interesting so please subscribe my channel share this video among your friends and thank you all thanks for watching